Hey, we're the mass holes. We're on the West Coast. We're the West Coast. Mass holes. We're the mass holes on the West Coast. We were from mass. We were holes when we're there, but we came out here and now we're West Coast mass holes. Oh my God. It's the West Coast mass holes. Uh, back again. We're uh, back again. Uh, Are you excited? Are you excited? Yeah. What? Huh? Oh, hang on. Let me start the timer. So we got 15 minutes, uh, Josh Wingate. I'm Todd yeah. Anderson, by the way. Uh, we got there 15 minutes. Tell me, I, I've got nothing. I ha I'm having a shitty day, and I got nothing to say. Why are you having a shitty day? You got a more white people problems? No, it's uh, just a massive amount of white people problems. I'm buried yeah. in white people problems. Mm. I want them in. No. Are you working? No. That's one of my <laughs> white people problems. <laughs> yeah. Me either. Um, me neither. Uh, <laughs> is that a um? Is that a um? What should we call it? Ring the the uh, the. What ring is that? Is that the one with the 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 G and the thing and the what are those yeah. called? Not the, the architects, but the what are those guys the, called? Mason. Mason. Yeah. Are you mason a mason? Ring? No, I'm yeah. not. No, I'm not. Yeah. This is a this yeah. was a gift uh, from my grandfather. When okay. I uh, I left to move to Los Angeles, he gave oh. me this ring and he said, "If things go to shit, you can pawn it." <laughs> and you I've, know pawn uh, shops, man. No, it's like highway robbery. We tried to pawn some diamonds before. They were like, "I will give you five bucks." I'm like, "These things are worth like eleven hundred, <laughs> you bastard." <laughs> really? Oh yeah, they're scam artists. Well, um, I guess they won't take give me much for this, thing. but I never took it off because of that. Yeah, I know a guy who. Um, titles his scripts uh his name and then comma like 30 second point five seventh degree something something mason and i'm like what the fuck does that mean <laughs> yeah i don't really understand the masonic thing or any of that but i did see the i saw that movie the skulls oh yeah <laughs> it wasn't that uh what's his name from uh dawson's creek yeah, it was that, it was yeah. that guy. That guy, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, and Craig T. Uh, uh, Craig T. Uh, Nelson was in it. Craig T. Robinson. No, uh, Nelson. Craig Robinson. Nelson. Robinson. Craig, Craig T. Robinson. The Poltergeist guy. Oh, Not yeah, the that Robinson. Guy. Poltergeist <laughs> guy. Yeah. God is in his holy temple. <laughs> that piece uh, is so freaky. Um, there's a crying baby. Oh no! Do you have a uh, support? Oh, no. or do you have to go? Do you have to go? I think the support system is here. Mari, our child is crying. What do you think it is? Is it hungry? I think our no, she's not hungry. I think she's just grumpy today. She's just grumpy, uh, just in yeah. general. Yeah, she's she, her hair is growing in kind of reddish, so I think she's just gonna be like you, <laughs> grumpy. <laughs> red hair does make you grumpy there's nothing there's nothing you can do about it it's just no it's genetics yeah, yeah i know yeah plus she has me as a father <laughs> it's like she's gonna learn all this shit from me it's funny every time i'm like what the fuck she laughs so like she laughs at me swearing so i think she already is tuned in like oh this guy's she, she thinks yeah. it's funny when you curse that's pretty funny yeah yeah. Yeah. yeah that's cool yeah we were uh we we were real careful not to not to curse around him for a while but you know that all went no yeah yeah see i have a i have a thoughts on that like the uh the the betrayal to the children like how many people lie to their child about some fantastical characters just to keep him obedient, like Santa Claus and Easter Bunny and Jesus and and <laughs> and, and, and blonde, blue eyed Jesus, um, <laughs> our Aryan Jesus. Um, 
<laughs> the Christians are going to come after you, Todd. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to get left. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, oh, that. Yeah, that reminds me. I got a. I got a tweet at Joel Austin. I haven't. I haven't bugged him uh, about his yacht in a while. No. Yeah. The fuck that guy. Um, but yeah, like, and 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 language. You know, it's like, oh, you can't say these words around them. It's like I just feel like there's a betrayal. It's a betrayal to to unless you are actually going to live in accordance and with integrity into a certain way of speech with your own life, mm -hmm. then you're, if not, you're living a lie with another being. Be because you're, because you're not cursing, you're living a lie. Is that what you're saying? Right. Right. If, if your general status of debauchery or lack of eloquence is just who you are or how you generally act, then when just to censor yourself just because of a person is a certain age, I don't know. Does that make me a bad father? I or <laughs> I does that make me know. a better? Does that make me a better father? Because I'm not gonna bullshit with my child. Well, or I, am I just lacking eloquence and I should learn to speak more clearly and concisely without vulgarity? Yeah. Um, again, let's I ask don't... our viewers. I don't fucking know. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Write Josh and tell him how to act. Um, yeah. But I mean, my policy has always been with, with my kid has been, look, when you're around, you know, mom and me, you can say whatever words you want. Uh, mm -hmm. You can curse uh, if you want. Um, just mm -hmm. when you're out in mixed company, understand that there's certain curse words that are going to be upsetting to them no. so, so have, have, have yeah, yeah, yeah it's just about be polite when you're uh, uh, you know at mix at school and in mixed company and all that but when you when you're not you can curse situational awareness yeah so yeah. it's a it's a double it's a double lesson i like that it's like you give freedom to be who you want and say what you want however just have awareness of the situation of people, places, and things that are happening and uh, whether you want to do that. Yeah, it's yeah. up to you, really. You know, If you want yeah. to, that's going to come with its own set of circumstances and consequences. Some people might not like it and they'll try to instill their dislike or displeasure upon you. And then you kick them in the nuts. Yeah, that really, <laughs> that escalated to physical uh, violence very quickly. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah see that i just i think it's just a matter of being respectful of of, of your situation yes i think that's yeah. a good way to put it okay um, good yeah like don't hang out like just don't hang out with nazis and um if you do find yourself in a group of nazis call uncle josh or mm -hmm. daddy josh in my situation and Uncle Todd, and we'll bring the militia. Yeah. Of the uh, yeah. The well-organized fucking... liberal armed militia that we yeah. have. Yes. Oh, of yeah. course. Hey, listen. <laughs> Liberals got them guns too, boy. All right. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> they sure do. Liberals got guns. The, uh, Lib guns are a very American thing. Very American. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've got freaking. These are lethal weapons right here. Yeah, and you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, some kind of martial art. Some kind. Is I it, know some kind. It's the same one as uh, that Steven Seagal, right? So you just you mostly just yeah. stand there, and then and people jump around you, and you and you just hit them a little, and they fall. I just threw ten people over me. <laughs> they all have broken limbs right now. It's really brutal how you break everybody's arms, though. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. know. It seems unnecessary. Unnecessary. Well, he hiled Hitler, so I broke his arm. Well, okay. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See? So, yeah, I guess that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. a, that's a dumb thing to do, uh, hiling Hitler. Yeah. Uh, one, the guy's dead. You know. Mm. So what yeah. the fuck is the point? Mm-hmm. Did you ever watch that documentary series? Was, I found it quite interesting. It was called um, "Hunting Hitler," and, and there was they were following the theory that he did not die and that he made it to South America. And there was like this former CIA or FBI guy and this team 
one guy was a ex he's ex um special forces and then there's there a few analysts and they all did this tracking down and they ended up finding the nazi party was definitely trying to organize with the fourth reich or whatever out of like mm. argentina and chile they were down there man after the war and they and they were trying to find out if um hitler had actually made it there but there was not any concrete proof to say that he was but they had they thought that he was they had a they had the inkling that it might have been true but even if he didn't there was definitely those fuckers were down there and they were trying to plan the next thing well yeah there's always those what's that mm -hmm. uh what's that movie uh boys from the boys from brazil did you ever see that um no but i know what you're talking about yeah, yeah I, it's, I that's, it's about that basic thing like a, yeah like a, new, mm -hmm. a new reich forming mm -hmm. underground right mm -hmm. here in the u.s mm. Mm. yeah yeah mm. it's a good movie i like that movie yeah well there kind of is isn't there the proud boys those boys are you know and they're with their like rearranged symbol that's not quite a swastika, but they just changed the angle and made it like con conjoin on top. It's like, oh, hmm, that's interesting. It looks we're, Nordic. We're proud boys. Yeah. What are you proud of? We're proud. We're proud of our whiteness. We're proud of our pride in whiteness. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My gorgeous Jewish wife is laughing at our banter about anti-Nazi. She just thinks we're fucking hilarious. You are Jewish. She said, I'm not Jewish. You are. You went to freaking Hebrew school. We we go to Shabbat. <laughs> uh, and you have a you have a man who will kill a Nazi, so you should be happy. Yeah. That's um, good. Yeah. It's, it's it's good to have a guy who'll kill Nazis for you. And I got whiny white friends who hate Nazis too. Yeah. We'll just whine at them. We're not gonna fight him. Just Get out of here! And say fuck you from behind a screen. You can't fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, and I'll put like things getting... on Facebook. I will type something on Facebook. <laughs> uh, from the safety of uh, my own home in Simi Valley, you are actually in enemy territory. I am I sleeping kinda. with the enemy yes. or in the enemy's neighborhood. Yes. I kind of am too. I'm the Palisades, man. There's a lot of yeah, man. questionable fuckers up here, man. Yeah. 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 Mm. And Beverly Hills has got them too. There's, oh, yeah. Yeah. There's all kind of, they're not all, you know, trailer trash. No. So I'm no. real rich. Yeah. Real rich. Some of them, some of them are even Jewish. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's a it's a weird uh, yeah. uh, uh, outcropping of modern society. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Nazis is it's Nazis. the age of Aquarius. The age of Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> are we? We just watched. That? <laughs> yeah, we Did just we watched. That? Uh, uh this is 40 again and oh, the fucking uh, shit is unreal good i love paul rudd and they did the whole dancing and if you could rewatch that oh never mind 40 year old virgin whatever right, right, right. they're all 40 it's the yeah, same this thing. is 40 is not that great no it's all right but so i thought you were talking crazy but now it makes sense i am talking crazy but Age of Aquarius, and they do that in Forty Year Old Virgin. It's fucking great, man. And the and the commitment of the background dancers of Seth Rogen and uh, and um, Paul Rudd and 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 um, uh, what was the actor? The other actor on there, the uh, no Steve Carell, obviously, but the other actor, the um, black guy, who's really funny. He was in um, you wrong, wrong, well, your friend, you know him, Rami Malko. Oh yeah, Rami Malek. They they commit so much to the dance. It's fucking great. Yeah, it's freaking great. My it's new favorite thing is watching is watching background actors. She she has me watching uh, Sex in the City, which is just atrociously something. But um, the background acting is fantastic. <laughs> you 
you know you're loving the show if you're looking at the uh, background. Check out <laughs> that background. I, I want to find this one guy, like or this one guy just sitting there, like he's in the background, but he knows he's on camera, so he's like. <laughs> and then and then one of the foreground like the lead actors like hits the table and it goes like bang and then he goes <laughs> 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 it was like a 10 second delay it was the best fucking background acting of all time it was so good it was like bang one one thousand two one thousand <laughs> You should uh, start a podcast where you review uh, background performances. That's a great idea. Uh, yeah. Oh, my. I just wanted to say, uh, by the way, about 40-year-old uh, Virgin. Yeah. yeah don't, don't watch that movie with my mom. It's, it's super uncomfortable. <laughs> well, it's not the only thing that's uncomfortable to do with your mom. All right. All right. <laughs> That's enough. That's the end of the show. The show's <laughs> over. We're fuck you, Nazis. All right. Duck foo, Nazi. I don't if it's got no punch now that you made fun of it like that. Now I feel like it's we gotta come well, up. We with still have else. to do it. It's kind of like the thing. It's like our it's like our brand. Be. Yeah. Fuck yeah. you, Nazis, I guess, but ah uh, fuck. I guess. Yeah, but fuck maybe you. we can come up. Maybe we could get like an animator to do like a funny thing. So be like, all right, that's it. And then fuck you, not it. <laughs> this has been a Blurch production. <laughs> you know, the, the part that everyone turns off fast because they don't want to watch that part. <laughs> that's enough. I've had enough. See you next time. See you next Tuesday. This has been a Blurch production. Blur.